Welcome everybody, I'm Joey again. <clears throat> so, the name of the day, or the game, or the show, whatever floats your boat, is how to change your UI layout. Here you see the standard old school plain Jane UI skin from back in the day. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this boring UI and turn it into this UI way smoother, way better. Now the problem is with this UI, as you see right here, all these, these are your old school spells, your old school spell gems, your old school buff pictures, you know. However, when you download the new UI, should you go this route, they will change. They will be different. I found them extremely confusing frustrating and difficult and yesterday having having just learned how to do all this right along with changing my spells gems to the old school ones with the new UI I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how to do so as well so what we're gonna begin with here is we're going to open up the internet <clears throat> And we're going to type in eqinterface.com. Okay. And then right here, we'll click on Downloads. We'll go to Complete Sets. Now these are, you know, just little extras, interface pieces, patches, and add-ons. But right now, we're focusing on the UI. So we're going to go to Complete Sets. Now here's your different packages. The one that I'm going with right now, which I'll have, I'll have a link for the website, this page here, and the one that takes you to my layout, which is this one. Now, you notice that the spells right here are different. Way different. Probably nothing that you're even used to. So, what I what I ended up doing was getting rid of those and bringing the old school spell gems back. Something that I can figure out, you know. So once you find the interface that you want, you'll then click on this button here. Okay. So we'll click on this. Make sure that you save this folder right here. Okay, when you open it, it's going to have all these. So what you want to do is you want to make a new folder right here. I have even labeled it Burt Blue because that's the UI name. And then you're going to copy all these. And notice I said copy them. And you're going to paste them into that folder. Once you have done that, we now can close this out. You no longer need this page. So now that we've downloaded our UI, we've got our UI folder, what do we do next? Well, now you're going to go through your computer folder and you're going to go through and figure out where your EverQuest folder is and you're going to track it down. Mine, however, and making this easy and simple is right here on my desktop. Now, I'm going to open this up again. Maybe. Alright, it's being difficult, so we'll go this route. Okay, so now we've got two of the same folders open. And you're probably wondering why. Well, you got to put the new, the new UI somewhere. So, you'll notice when you open your EverQuest folder that there's this folder right here that says UI files. Okay, so we're going to click on that. Now, anybody else would normally just have the default. Well, you're going to take that folder you copied off the desktop and you're going to paste it right in here. So, after you've got it in here, we will then open it. Here's the files you copied already from earlier. Now, 
this other one that we opened, we're going to open that up, but we're going to open the default one. Okay. Now, I'll have a list of the files that you need to do, that you need to delete and replace in the description below. So if you don't follow this, everything's right there. But what we're going to do is we're going to scroll on down in the vert blue folder. Okay, we are going to take these three gem icons. It says 01, 02, 03. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to get the spell icons. The Those won't be there. So actually it'll say spell gems. My mistake. Let me backtrack this a little bit here. Okay, these are, no, come on, these are the files here that will start originally in the Burt Blue folder. Okay, there's the, the three gem icons, it'll say spell gems, and then you'll have your spells one through seven. Okay, those, this, the, this group of files right here will be listed in the description below. These are the ones you delete. They start in the vert blue folder. Now, once you have deleted those, okay, so once you delete those, you will then come over to the default folder. And we'll scroll on down until we find our gem icons. Or you can just hit G and kind of speed it up a little bit. Okay, so here's gem icons, one through three. Then, and you notice it says spell icons here. It says spell icons here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy. Okay, now we're copying those three gem icons. One, two, and three. Okay, we're copying those from the default folder. And then we're going to copy the spell icons, all four books, and your spells one through seven from the default folder. Okay. Then you would drag over and drop in the new for blue. I'm not going to because I've already done so, which is what I was showing you guys right here. So after you have done that, you now have your new default spell files, your spell books, your spell icons, and your new three gem icons. You can now close all these out. Everything you got them, you close it all out. And then you reload EverQuest. Okay. So if you watch slash Q, it'll, it'll shut yours out all the way to the desktop. Won't have to worry about it. Now, once you do that, you just reload the launch pad. So basically, refire up EverQuest. Give it a second here, okay? And then when you go to a new account or a different one, you'll notice it'll start checking for files. And what it's doing is it's updating your new UI folder, it's updating the, it's putting the old spell gems into the new UI, as same time it's wiping out the old ones. And then once you get into your character and everything, you'll have your UI, but it'll be all jumbled and confused. You'll have to sit there and play with it for a little bit, rearrange it, settle it out but as a ranger and you guys can watch my videos and and my videos on twitch and that, that's twitch.tv slash short man on um i'll link that in the description below as well but you can as you can as you tell from my videos before it's running with the old school 
UI. So basically, it's running with. Uh, I don't want to do that. It's running with this. Why is it doing that? Not sure what its deal is, but it's running with the old school UI that I showed you in the beginning. So I hope that helps you guys be able to change your UIs, find one that helps a little better. This one works fabulous for me. It's got all kinds of goodies and stuff that you guys will figure out and see as you play with it and, and rearrange your your screen out and whatnot. But so much more view, everything's so much smaller, and it, it's a lot nicer, especially with the old spells back in and now. So it definitely helped me. I hope it helps you guys. And other than that, I hope you guys look forward for the next video, which will be on using the advanced loot window, aka. Hold on. This window here, which is your advanced loot window. You, people freak out because you got all this crap. 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 And everything changes whether you're the looter or in a group with someone else who's the looter. So, next video will be on how to use the advanced loot window. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Have a good one.